Sorry. You killed him! He's dead. He's dead. What'd you get? Um, a Mickey hand sandwich, I guess. It's not really called that, but it's got roasted chicken and lettuce. It's supposed to have egg, but I got it without egg, so. It's his hand. So cute. So it got super hot out, so we decided to grab one of the Mickey ice bars. I got a tropical fruit flavor, and you got raspberry. Peach, Peach and raspberry. Mine's Mickey, hers is Minnie. Um, these are gonna be delicious, I can't wait. All right, so I'm already demolished most of his ears, because it's really good. It's like a bomb popsicle a Mickey. I thought it was orange flavor, but it's tropical. And I'm here for it. It almost tastes like Dole Whip. The good like pineapple flavor to it. Into it. All right, so over in Adventureland, I got two snacks. Uh, this one over at the Adventureland Gazebo. It's oh, it's a seasonal uh, for the 35th anniversary, and it looks like an ice cream cone. But what it really is is there's like gravy on it with rice and beef, I believe, at the bottom. So in a waffle cone. Though. So I don't know if the waffle cone. It's sweet. And then over at Boiler Room Bites, they have a seasonal drink. Um, I don't know what's in it. It just says specialty drink with blue syrup. Uh, so I'm gonna taste it. But first I'm gonna dig into this cone. It's crazy. There's like sprinkles on it and stuff. All right, here we go. Oh, it's messy. It's like rice and gravy. I think the top sprinkles are like salt. Is it eating a, a beef ice cream cone? And then over here, we have the blue drink. I don't know if I should mix it. I'm mixing it. Okay, it tastes like Sprite. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Uh, wait, and there's boba in it. Popping boba. And chewy squares. Chewy squares. It's weird. <laughs> I made a mess. Oh well. No, it's a normal ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> so you get an ice cream cone with the rice and beef, which actually the beef was really good, and I kind of want another one of these. Can I double fist a rice ice cream cone? It's Japan, sure. Alright, so now we're at Disney Sea because they actually changed the mochi locations. Instead of being at Disneyland, the green alien mochi are now at Disney Sea, and you get the uh, Stormtrooper mo mochi and the Scrump mochi at Disneyland. So if you want the green alien mochi, they're only gonna be in Disney. See. Now we're gonna eat them right by Woody. You gonna feed him one? <laughs> uh, from what I remember, these are strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Oh. Oh, right Here you go. Cheers. Cheers. Eh. Strawberry. Chocolate. It tastes like Danibal's yogurt. I was say, it tastes like... Okay, I'm assuming this one's vanilla. Mmm, I like the chocolate one. Yeah, the chocolate one's good. I think that's my favorite one. Um, fun fact, you should bring these to the States. It's Toy Story Land, fix mm -hmm. up here. That easy, y'all. All right, so the next specialty item is over in Critter Country at the Rackety Raccoon Saloon. Uh, last time I got this too, it's the Critter Sunday, but this time it's special for the 30th anniversary. They have a specialty churro, which is the cotton candy churro, and uh, instead of the normal churro they put in it, they put the cotton candy in. There's like extra dust in here, and what it is is strawberry ice cream and milk ice cream. They don't really have vanilla. It's called milk 
and strawberry. And what the Critter Sunday is, is like, the story is like, it's this raccoon that just gathers up things he finds, like nuts and cereal and little candies. So this Sunday's crazy. There's a churro in it. There's everything going on. So I'm gonna try this. First, I've been try wanting to try this churro forever. Cotton candy churro. Here we go. It's pretty sweet. There's like a, a tiny hint. Oh, there it is. There's a hint of cotton candy, but it's like a, a weird flavored cotton, like burnt cotton candy. Um, but I'm gonna try this one. That is good. It's good though. Honestly, I think this is my. This whole Sunday thing, it's only five dollars or five hundred yen uh, in Critter Country. If you come to Tokyo Disneyland, you gotta get it. So I got another m ice bar. Uh, last time I got the Mickey one, this time I got the mini one, which is peach and raspberry. We got, um... We finally got the Star Wars dumplings. Dark side dumplings. Dark side dumplings. They're here in Tomorrowland. Were they ever called mochi or are they just always called dumplings? We're good. Right. Well, there's two Stormtrooper ones and one Darth Vader one. I don't know the flavors. I forgot them. They're different than the Green Alien ones. Oh, they are? They are? We know what they are. So this one's strawberry. Danimal's strawberry. Danimal's yogurt. Danimal's yogurt. The other Stormtrooper. Chocolate. Coffee. Oh yeah. Ooh, the coffee one's really good. Yeah, it's my favorite. Okay. And bitter is obviously chocolate. Bam. So the only difference between the green alien ones oh, is coffee. vanilla and coffee. It's coffee. I like the coffee one better than the vanilla. But the strawberry still tastes like Danibles you. Oh and all still good. I like the fact that two of them are stormtroopers and one of them is Darth Vader. And it's the chocolate one. <laughs> Alright, so one of the most anticipated items I've been waiting for is this Donald Duck Butt Ice Cream. It's actually, it's ice nut milk. And then there's a chocolate crunch bar over uh, at World Bazaar at a place called Ice Cream Cones. Very original. That's the name of the place. But it is a Donald uh, Butt apparently because it's ice cream and then little, little feet. So he's like stuck in the cup. I've been so excited for this. Here we go. I don't, they don't really do ice cream here. It's all ice milk. So it's like ice milk with chocolate and nuts. And a little bit crunch. Oh. The crunch bar is nutty too. Just like that.